check, 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 check. Welcome to Johnson Coliseum. Jason Barfield here as we've worked through a few little technical issues for the new year, of course. Bearcats taking on Central Arkansas. Central Arkansas early on with the 9-5 lead here, but an and one underneath for Chris Galbraith. Send the Bearcats to the line. Nine seven lead for Central Arkansas. Early going of this ball game. 16-42 to play here in the first half. Free throw by Galbraith is up and good. So it's a 9-8 UCA lead. Bears coming into this one. Seven and eight overall, one and one in Southland Conference play. As there is a three from the corner, it is up and good from Jordan Howard. It's a 12-8 lead. Jordan Howard with five already. And a charge called on the Bearcats. It's going to go against Marcus Harris. That is two on Harris, two on the Bearcats. And we'll prompt a quick move from Jason Hooten as Albert Almanza We'll check into the ball game. Twelve eight lead for Central Arkansas. Jump shot from the baseline. Up no good. Ball was rebounded by Camba and kept alive. Now Howard with a pull-up jumper. That's no good. Almanza there for the rebound. Almanza for Dewey. Dewey, top of the key, drives into the paint, goes to the glass, lays it up, no good. Couldn't finish at the rim. It was a good drive by Dewey. We couldn't finish off the layup. Three by Howard, no good. Rebound pulled down by Aubrey on Edwards. Into the corner for Almanza, he'll fire a three. Good. Almanza three ball on the other end is good. And it's a 12-11 ball game. Central Arkansas coming here off of a loss to Southeastern Louisiana, 73-69. There's a floater, back iron, no good. And the rebound comes down to the Bearcats. Galbraith looking to go coast to coast, lays it up. He was bumped on the way up. And Chris Galbraith will go to the line before he does. We will take a break. 14.51 to play here in the first. Bearcats trail it 12 to 11. It's the Sam Houston State basketball on the Bearcats Sports Network.
Chris Galbraith at the line. Shooting two here, first free throw in and out, no good. Galbraith on the year, a 61% free throw shooter. Second one, no good, so an 0 for 2 trip for Galbraith. Had a chance to give the Bearcats the early lead. Came up empty on both attempts. Bears working the ball around the perimeter, getting in the hands of Howard. Howard fires up the three, in and out, no good. Howard coming into tonight, just three three-pointers away from tying the Southland Conference all-time three-point list. Four would break the record. Almanza swings it around for Edwards. Edwards looks to drive, kicks to the corner. Three ball fired up by Williams, no good. Howard comes down with the rebound for the Bears. Three ball up by Widenar, no good. Edwards pulls down the rebound. Into the corner for Almanza, fires up a three, in and out, no good. Boy, had a good look. That ball did everything but fall through the hoop for Almanza. Stuck at 12 to 11 here. Baseline jumper, that one is up and good. That was Tanner Schmidt knocking that one down. Schmidt's got a couple of buckets here in this ball game. Three ball fired up, no good. Parnell with it on the right side, looks to drive. Williams on him and he took an extra step. Good defense there by Jamal Williams. So 14-11, Central Arkansas lead as the Bearcats will bring the ball up the floor. Josh Delaney handling the point guard duties right now. Hands off for Williams. Williams looking for somewhere to go with it. A little hand check on the drive. Foul was called on Parnell. That's the first on Parnell, third team foul for Central Arkansas. Edwards top of the key, drives, kicks. Three ball, fired up, no good. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Central Arkansas ball. Edwards making a claim for Bearcat ball. Didn't get it. Cats now have gone scoreless the last two and a half minutes. Just two points for Central Arkansas over that stretch, however. So it's still a three-point game as there's a three ball fired up. And that one is up and good. Widenar knocks it down. And it is a six point game, 17 to 11. We'll step up jumper for Almanza in and out, no good. He's had a couple go down and not pop out. And Jamal Williams with the rebound, but a jump ball is called. And Central Arkansas will have the possession. Bearcats have now gone over three minutes without a point. They're 0 for their last five from the floor, shooting four for 14 for the game. Howard kicks out. Whitenard thought about it, pulled it down. 15 left to shoot for the Bears. Nearly a turnover. Howard there to pick up the loose ball. Step up, jumper, back iron, no good. Rebound comes down to Butte. Into the corner for Amonza, fires up a three, no good. And nobody there for the rebound for the Bearcats. Cats have gone cold from the floor and there is a foul called on Delaney. And with that whistle, we've got a timeout on the floor, we'll take it, 11.36 left to play here in the first half. Central Arkansas leading at 17 to 11 on the Bearcats Sports Network.
Back here at Johnson Coliseum, the foul was on Josh Delaney for the Bearcats. And they're going to call it a shooting foul. So Campbell will be at the line. And the first free throw is up and good. Three fouls whistled on each side so far in this one. As Camba gets them both, and now Central Arkansas showing pressure on the inbound. Comes to Williams. Cross for Almanza. Almanza, past Dewey was stolen, and the layup the other way is up and in. DeAndre Jones lays it in, an easy two points for him, and all of a sudden it's a 10-point game. 9-0 run for Central Arkansas, and a charge called on Dewey. First foul against Dewey, four against the Bearcats, and Cameron Delaney will check into the ball game for Albert Amanza. Bearcats now four minutes without a point. 0 for the last six from the floor. Central Arkansas on a 9-0 run over the last two and a half. Starting to open this up a little bit. They've got it out to double digits. Ball stolen on the baseline. Williams comes up with it. Lob pass out for Dewey. Three on one break. Dewey hammered on the way up. Foul called and Dewey will go to the line. Mondesir called for the foul, that is his first. Fourth team foul. So John Dewey will be at the line shooting a pair. First free throw is good, first points of the night for Dewey. Jordan Howard checks back into the ball game for the Bears. One more free throw for Dewey. On the way in, good. Dewey gets them both. Snaps a four and a half minute scoring drought for the Bearcats. Cut this back down to an eight point game. Campbell on the drive, cut off by Williams, spins. Close to stepping on the baseline and a foul called on Cameron Delaney. Better put Ethan Lee at the stripe shooting a pair. And the first free throw by Lee is up and good. Second free throw, in and out, no good. So one of two on the trip, nine point game. 22-13. Delaney with it, 20 to shoot. Into the corner to his brother Josh. Josh on the drive, hit on the way up. He was fouled and Josh Delaney will go to the line. Foul was on Jordan Howard, his first. Fifth team fouls. We've had 10 total fouls called. Five aside. First free throw by Delaney is good. And a toe in that line leaning forward. Second free throw on the way, and that one is good as well. So the Cats are converting at the stripe. Still without a field goal over the last five minutes. And there is a steal. Delaney drives, lays it up and in. And a timeout for Central Arkansas. So a little 5-0 run for the Bearcats here. They've cut it to a five-point game. Cats were a little more aggressive over the last couple of minutes. They got themselves to the stripe a couple of times, converted their free throws, and then the defense 
steal by Cameron Delaney, the layup by Josh Delaney, and it's a 22-17 ball game. Looking at the Bearcats coming into this game, they're six and eight overall. 0-1 in Southland Conference play. They dropped their opener on December 30th. They were at Abilene Christian, a 75-72 loss. The Bearcats have been down in that ball game by 14, climbed all the way back, got it to one before ultimately falling by three to ACU. First conference home game here for the Bearcats. As the Bears come out of the timeout, lobbed it up top for Howard. On the drive, and a second effort, no good. It goes out of bounds, it'll be Bearcat basketball. Good defense down low by Cameron Delaney. Cameron Delaney has made an impact since coming into this ball game. Tilly brings it across the timeline for the Bearcats. Into the corner for Williams. Williams, baseline drive, has it knocked out of his hands, goes up, and he's fouled, and will shoot a pair. Little fortuitous bounce for Jamal Williams after he had it knocked out of his hand. It fell right back to him. He took it up for the layup and was fouled. First free throw rattles in for Jamal Williams. Second free throw for Williams. Back iron, no good. It's a 22-18 game. Three ball from the corner for the Bears. In and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Williams. Out to Cameron Delaney. Delaney looks to take it himself, lays it up too strong off the back iron. Rebound to the Bears. Cats had a chance to get one in transition. And a foul called on Cameron Delaney. It's two fouls on Delaney, and he's going to have to take a seat. Good eight minutes of action. Check that. Two minutes on the floor for Delaney as there's a foul. Made a nice little impact while he was out there. As Howard will go to the line to shoot a pair here, or one and one rather. First free throw by Howard is good. One more free throw for Howard. That one is up and good as well. Back to a six point Central Arkansas lead. Dewey with it on the right side. Up top for Williams. 10 left to shoot. Galbraith looks to drive, creates a little space. Banker off the glass is in. Twenty-four twenty baseline jumper in and out, no good. Galbraith with the rebound. Dewey with it, gives it back to Edwards. Edwards into the paint, off to Galbraith. Galbraith layup, no good. Rebound comes down to Central Arkansas. Howard lays it up off the glass, no good. Galbraith with the rebound, and he was fouled on the rebound. And with that whistle, we've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take it. 7.56 left to play here in the first half. It is Sam Houston 20, Central Arkansas 24, here on the Bearcat Sports Network.
Galbraith will be at the line shooting one and one as that was the seventh team foul on Central Arkansas. First free throw back iron, no good. Galbraith now one for four from the line here in this game. Remains a four point game. Drive to the basket and the layup is up and good by Ethan Lee. Back to six, 26-20. Edwards top of the key, looks to drive. Creates a little space, nice little banker there for Aubryon Edwards. Quickly down the other way, Central Arkansas. Hook shot up and good. Tanner Schmidt lays it in. Quickly back to a six point game. Dewey with it, top of the key for the Bearcats. Lobs it up for Galbraith. Galbraith will fire up a three, back iron no good. Edwards fighting for the rebound, can't come up with it. Shot blocked underneath. Dewey out in transition, and Dewey will lay it up and in. Back to a four point game. Head coach Russ Pennell for Central Arkansas on his fourth season. Shot from the corner, no good. Galbraith there for the rebound. Body hitting the floor on the other side. Dewey out running with it. Nothing there for him. Gives it up to Delaney. Edwards kicks in the corner for Dewey. Little head fake, baseline drive. Lays it off for Williams. Williams gets caught up in traffic and gets a foul called. It's gonna go against Tanner Schmidt. First foul on Schmidt, eighth team foul. Josh Butte getting set to check in. Couple of substitutions coming for both sides as the first free throw is in and out, no good for Jamal Williams. Three changes for Central Arkansas. Camba checks into the ball game, as does Unruh. IEK Polar also checks into the ball game. Butte is in for the Bearcats. Second free throw for Williams. Back iron, no good. Tap back, kept alive. Dewey picks it up, tosses it up. Delaney grabs it into the paint, plays it off for Butte, who slams it home. A scramble play for the Bearcats. Butte finishes it off. It's down to a two point game. That was hustle by Dewey to keep it alive. Camba kicks down into the corner. Unruh with it. Unruh looks to drive. IEK Polar with it. Now to Howard. Howard, step back, jumper, good. Edwards into the paint. Layup is good by Jamal Williams. <laughs> Foul called against Central Arkansas. It goes against, Fur or check that, goes against IAK Polar. So Jamal Williams at the line, chance to finish off the three-point play. Cats have not been good at the stripe. Just six of 12 here in this game. Free throw by Williams is good. Devin Jackson checks into the ball game for the Cats. Mondeser checks in for Central Arkansas. 30 to 29. Turn 
One point ball game, five minutes to play here in the first half. Howard drives baseline, floater up, no good. Delaney with the rebound. Out for Williams, has it stolen from him. Howard back, Delaney there, but Howard finishes off the layup. Williams setting up the offense for the Bearcats. Around for Delaney, swings it over to Edwards. Edwards looking to get it inside to Butte. It wasn't there. Now Edwards will take it himself. Kicks into the corner. Jackson, top of the key to Delaney. Two left to shoot. Floater from the free throw line. Back iron, no good. And kept alive by Central Arkansas. Ultimately come up with the loose ball in the paint. Howard, drive cut off by Williams. Unruh kicks into the corner. Camba, three-pointer, good. Back to a six-point game. Cats had cut it to one. Little 5-0 run here for Central Arkansas. Drive no good. Follow-up no good by Butte. And Howard runs right into Edwards and draws the foul. And that'll get us to a media timeout. 3.29 left to play here in the first half. It's Central Arkansas 35, Bearcats 29, right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Three twenty-nine to play here in the first half. Central Arkansas out to a 45% clip from the floor. Sam Houston shooting 37%. Cats 10 of 27, Bears 13 of 29. First free throw by Howard is up and good. Bears now six of eight at the stripe. Bearcats seven for 13. Howard makes it seven of nine. And the lead is back to eight for Central Arkansas. 7-0 run by the Bears over the last minute 13. Cats had cut this down to a one point game. Williams around for Delaney. Delaney drives in the paint, puts a little off-balance floater up, no good. Central Arkansas with the rebound, Bears off and running with it. Into the paint, turn around, pass laid off, batted around, and Galbraith comes up with the rebound. Pretty good look down on the other end, just couldn't finish it off. Galbraith at the free throw line, steps into the paint, turnaround jumper by Galbraith is good. Snaps a little 7-0 run by the Bears, gets it back to a six point game. 2.20 left to play here in the first half.
Camba, top of the key, fires up a three, no good. Galbraith comes up with the rebound. Six point game, Cats chance to cut into it. Into the corner for Williams, fires up a long two, no good. Rebound comes up to Central Arkansas. Turnaround jumper by Schmidt, no good. Follow up, bank shot goes. Tanner Schmidt missed on the first look, got the second one to fall. He's got eight in the game. The lead for Central Arkansas is eight. Edwards will fire up a three. Back iron and he gets the high kick to go. Five point game, a minute left to play here in the first half, 39-34. Central Arkansas with the lead. Passed inside to Schmidt. Turnaround jumper, no good. Ball loose on the floor, and it will be a jump ball. And I believe it'll be Bearcat basketball. The ball will go to the Bearcats. 43.1 seconds. And Jason Hooten will take a timeout, want to set something up. Down five, 39-34. This has been a game that Central Arkansas has led most of the way here in the first half. Cats did make a run, they cut it to one at 30 to 29. Central Arkansas then followed with a 7-0 run before the Cats were able to get a bucket. And got it to a five point game right now. And they will have the ball coming out of this timeout. Bearcats have not taken advantage of their opportunities from the stripe. Just seven of 13 at the free throw line. They're shooting 30% from three at three for 10, while Central Arkansas is four for nine from long range. Rebounding is about even, 23-22 to Central Arkansas's favor. A 13 second difference between game clock and shot clock. Edwards over to Jackson. Jackson fires up a three, no good. Offensive rebound, layup is in by Jamal Williams. Good heads up play by Williams. Pick the long rebound up, laid it in. It's a three point game. And Central Arkansas can hold for the final shot here of the first half. 39-36 lead. That's looking for a momentum stop heading into the locker room. Howard wants it himself, he's double teamed. Quick three, no good. And it's a defensive stop for the Bearcats. And a good final minute of this first half. And they will go into the halftime locker room, trailing Central Arkansas 39-36. We're gonna step aside for this halftime break. When we come back, we'll have the second half for you here on the Bearcats Sports Network.
And welcome back to Johnson Coliseum. Jason Barfield here as we're about set and ready to get the second half underway. Run down some numbers for you from this first half. Shooting percentage, pretty similar. 40% for Central Arkansas, 39 for the Bearcats. UCA with one more field goal, 14 to 13 on that count. Four of 10 from three-point range, while the Bearcats are three of 11. Each team has made seven free throws. Difference is the Bearcats are seven of 13. The Bears are seven of nine. Rebounding just about the same, 24-23 for the Bearcats. As right out of the gate, there is a dunk by Ethan Lee to get it started for Central Arkansas. Opening possession for the Bearcats here in the second half. Edwards losing it in the paint. So it's a turnover for the Bearcats. We had a stoppage. Uh, shot clock shorted out. Better reset the shot clock so they're ready to go now. Forty-one thirty-six, Central Arkansas with the lead. Bears with a bucket right out of the gate. The Bearcats with a turnover. Camba on the drive lays it up, left it short. And it is out of bounds. It'll stay with Central Arkansas. Galbraith had it in his hands, couldn't corral it. So it'll stay with the Bears, fresh 30. Inbound comes to Cam, but nearly lost it. Up top for Unruh into the hands of Howard. Howard guarded by Dewey, hands it off to Schmidt. Schmidt, jumper good. Long two for Tanner Schmidt. Central Arkansas back-to-back -back buckets to get the second half started. They extended the lead out to seven. Dewey will fire up a three. Front iron, no good. And a foul called underneath the basket on the rebound. It's going to go against Bubba Furlong. First against Furlong, first against the Cats. Cats have misfired on their first two possessions here of the second half. Central Arkansas has converted on both of their possessions. Unruh kicks into the corner. Camba fires up a three. It's good. 7-0 run to start the second half for Central Arkansas. And I think Jason Hoot's going to take a timeout. It is quickly out to a 10-point ball game. And Hooten. Wants to try to put a stop to this run. So while they stop, so will we. 17.55 to play. Central Arkansas 46, same Houston 36. Same Houston State basketball here on the Bearcats Sports Network.
Bearcats will inbound to get it started. Into Dewey, Dewey drives into the paint and he was fouled on his way up, but he was passing it off, so no shooting here. Cats will inbound along the baseline. Foul was called against Dylan Todd. Todd out of Huffman. Dewey looks to drive, goes baseline, kicks it out. Edwards, Edwards on the drive. Left-handed shot, no good. And a foul called after the shot. I believe it's going to be on the rebound underneath by Ethan Lee. Break for the Bearcats because Central Arkansas was off and running the other way. So Dewey will inbound. Up top for Edwards. To Galbraith, down low to Furlong. Hook shot, left it short. Ball loose, Edwards comes up with it. Spots up for three, in and out, no good. Cats still scoreless here in the second half. Unruh fires up a three, back iron, no good. Follows a shot, gets his own rebound. Fresh 30 for Central Arkansas. Howard on the drive, pulls up, jump shot, good. It's a good contested jumper by Howard. And it extends the lead for Central Arkansas out to 12. 48-36, 12 point game now. And a 9-0 run here in the second half. Galbraith baseline, he was bumped on the drive. Foul called on Lee, two on him. Three whistled against Central Arkansas. As Josh Butte checks into the ball game. Bubba Furlong out, inbound to Edwards. Marcus Harris at the point for the Bearcats. Kicks to Edwards. Edwards fires a pass into the paint. And Galbraith couldn't handle it. So it's a turnover by the Bearcats. Still scoreless here in the second half as we approach four minutes play. Over the same stretch. Central Arkansas has built what was a three-point lead at the half to 12. Camba on the drive, and he threw it away. And with that stoppage, we've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take it. 15.40 left to play. Central Arkansas leads at 48-36 here on the Bearcat Sports Network.
Edwards will inbound it for the Bearcats. 15-40 left to play in this ball game. Arkansas, Central Arkansas has scored the first nine points of this half. Dewey on the drive, shot blocked. Stay with the Bearcats. Quick three-pointer by Harris is good. First points of the second half for the Bearcats. The three-pointer by Marcus Harris. It's back to a nine-point game. Camba on the drive and a foul called. I believe they're going to get Aubrey on Edwards here. It is on Edwards. Matthew Cambo will be at the line shooting a pair. Back iron no good on the first free throw. Camba averages 12.9 points per game. Second leading scorer. That free throw right there was just his third point tonight. Cats have done a good job on Camba. Jordan Howard, the team's leading scorer, averages 23.6. He's just about getting his way to his average. He's at 13 right now. Williams drives, laid it off for Butte, who couldn't handle the pass. Another turnover by the Bearcats. And a double dribble, and they give it right back. Cats turned the ball over just four times in the first half. Three already here in the second half. Both teams have played pretty clean, though. It's a layup by Dewey is good. He was fouled, and he'll go to the line. Foul called on Lee. That's three on him. Whitenar will check in for Lee. And Lee immediately goes to see the trainer, taking a look at his hand. Free throw by Dewey is good. That's back to a seven point game, 49-42. Layup is no good. Williams there with the rebound. Dribbling through traffic. Out for Dewey. Dewey kicks into the corner. Harris with from three. Good. Marcus Harris, Marcus Harris with his second three-pointer of the half. All of a sudden, it's a four-point game. Jones passes down low. Turnaround jumper, no good. Dewey kicks in the corner. Harris again from the corner. Front iron, no good. Follow up. Jamal Williams is good. And a foul on the other end. The Bearcats have gone on a 10 0 run and they've cut it to two. As Galbraith is called for the foul, his first, team third. And Howard will be at the line to shoot a pair. Howard four for four from the stripe today. First free throw is up and good. Freddie Batondo checks in for the Bearcats out of Montreal. Second free throw by Howard is good. So Howard gets them both, gets it back to four. 51-47. Ball knocked away. It stays with the Bearcats. Central Arkansas without a field goal over this stretch. The last three minutes and 13 seconds. Cats have taken advantage. 
Marcus Harris has sparked it. A couple of three-pointers. The junior out of San Antonio. Layup, no good. They tried the lob. Couldn't finish it off. And a travel, nope, they're gonna call. Yep, they did call the travel. So a turnover and it goes back over to the Cats. And a whistle away from the ball. Foul called on Camba. That's three on Camba. So the Bears will make a move. Unruh will be in for Camba. Jamal Williams will inbound it. Galbraith down low for Williams, backs his way, turn around, shot no good, and the rebound is knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bearcats. So a fresh 30 for the Cats. Dewey will inbound. 51-47, Central Arkansas leads it by four. Inbound to Williams, now to Harris. Dewey drives, kicks into the corner, up top for Harris, spots up for three, good! Harris, Harris, three. Harris has the hot hand and he's got it down to one. Howard with it for the Bears. Howard looks to drive, kicks it out. Jones spots up for three. In and out, no good. Williams fighting for the rebound, comes up with it. Numbers for the Bearcats. In the corner for Harris, fires a three. Good! Harris with another three-pointer and the Cats have the lead. Central Arkansas calls a timeout. The Bearcats come firing off their bench. They lead it 53-51. We'll step aside. This is Sam Houston State Basketball here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Jones with it for the Bears. Unruh layup is no good, but he was fouled and will go to the line. Bearcats have quickly turned this thing around. Central Arkansas still without a field goal now over the last five minutes. First free throw by Unruh is up and good. Central Arkansas had a 12-point lead not too long ago. The second free throw is no good, and Cats still remain on top. Go, 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 
Williams for Galbraith. Galbraith kicks out. Delaney had a three, pulled it down. Back to Delaney, little head fake, steps up. Free throw line, jumper goes. 55-52. Good work there by Delaney. Passed on a couple of threes. He found himself a little bit closer range, something manageable, knocked it down. Howard for three, back iron, no good, out of bounds, it stays with the Bears. Jamal Williams came crashing in. So it stays with the Bears. Kick it over to Widenar, his three-point shot no good, offensive rebound. Now Howard spots up, wide open three for Howard, in and out, no good, and the rebound comes down to the Cats, but they stepped out of bounds. Camba will check back into the ball game, checking in with three fouls. A lot of extra looks here for Central Arkansas though. Howard catches the pass, pulls up for the jumper, it goes. A little off-balance shot by Jordan Howard. Back to a one-point game, 55-54. Delaney gives to Galbraith, now back to Delaney. Harris finds himself open, fires a three, left it short. Galbraith pulls out the offensive rebound. Galbraith goes baseline, shot off the glass, no good. Backside rebound, tap in, no good. Delaney there for the rebound and a foul called. Goes against Jones. Two on Jones, 16 fouls. And now a technical foul has been issued, I believe. Jamal Williams with a technical and I believe Unruh is being called for a technical. So, Unruh and Jamal Williams got tangled up and both called for a technical foul. So the Cats will So they're still going over to the book to confer here. Now both officials coming over. Hooten brings his team over to the bench. Pennell's gonna do the same thing. And the conversation was quick at the table. So technical fouls. Issued on both sides, and the Cats will inbound along the baseline. Inbound comes to Galbraith. Over to Jamal Williams. Lobs it up for Galbraith. Galbraith, shot blocked, stays with him. Backs his way, turnaround jumper, goes. Good work there by Galbraith. Had the shot blocked, stayed with it. Came right back and got the put back. Ball knocked loose on the floor, stays with the Bears. We're under 10 minutes left to play in this one now, 9.30 to play. Lob pass, tapped away, good defensive work by the Bearcats. Stays with Central Arkansas, 12 left to shoot. And that ball was tipped and touched last by Camba, and it's Bearcat basketball. Good work by Chris Galbraith. 57-54, Bearcat lead. Williams on the perimeter, down low for Galbraith. Turnaround shot, doesn't get it to go. Williams, offensive rebound, and a jump ball is called. Possession stays with the Bearcats. Josh Butte checks in. Ready, 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 ready. 
Josh Delaney will inbound for the Cats. Galbraith baseline, tried to kick it in the corner for Williams, but threw it right into the hands. I believe that was Schmidt who picked it up. Lob pass up top for Jones. Drive and the layup is up and good by Mondeser. Gets it back to one. First bucket of the game for Mondeser. 57-56. Delaney with it up top. Drives and is fouled on his way to the basket. So Josh Delaney will go to the line. He'll shoot two here. Foul was called on Tanner Schmidt, two on him. 18 fouls now for Central Arkansas. So Josh Delaney will be at the stripe. Delaney today has been in the free throw line twice, converted both times. First free throw is up and in. John Dewey will check in and Marcus Harris steps out. Big second half for Harris. He's got 14 points on four of six three-point shooting and sparked this run to get the Bearcats back in it. Second free throw is up and good. Harris who's averaging 6.3 per game. Certainly has given a boost to the Bearcats. We're under eight minutes left to play in this one now. Jordan Howard with it. Smothering defense by Dewey, not allowing Howard to get anything off. Stolen by the Bearcats. Williams got a finger on it. Delaney picked up the loose ball into the paint, lays it up, and he was fouled and will go to the line. Foul was called on Jordan Howard. Two on Howard, and with that timeout, we've got a stoppage. We'll step aside. Bearcats lead at 59-56. To Sam Houston State basketball here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Seven forty-four left to play in this one. Bearcats lead at 59-56. Cats 0-1 in Southland play, looking for their first conference win. Central Arkansas comes in 1-1 in league play. They won their Southland opener against Texas A&M Corpus Christi, an impressive 81-69 victory. First free throw by Delaney is good. They lost on New Year's Eve to Southeastern Louisiana, 73-69. Lions off to a surprising 2-0 start in league play after upsetting Stephen F. Austin. The free throw's no good, but an offensive rebound for the Bearcats. Good work there by Josh Butte. So one point already on this possession. Cats looking to add to it. Galbraith inside to Butte. Turnaround shot blocked, but he was fouled. Foul was called on Jared Chatham. First on him. 10 now on Central Arkansas. Cats will be shooting two the rest of the way. Butte at the line. First free throw is up and good. Cats 
Kamba and Unruh check back into the ball game. Second free throw by Butte is up and no good. Back iron. A couple of missed free throws on that possession of the Bearcats, but they do extend the lead back out to five, their largest lead. 61-56 now. Campbell with it, passes down low into Schmidt. Schmidt left his jumper short, but a late whistle. Foul called on Butte. Boy, that whistle didn't come in until the ball had already hit the rim and was on the way down. So Schmidt will be at the line, shooting two. First free throw by Schmidt, in and out, no good. Seven oh seven left to play. Still a lot left in this one. Second free throw by Schmidt is good. And now the teams are just kind of trading off on free throws. Bearcats don't have a field goal in the last 240. Yet they managed to extend their lead to five. Down to four here. 61-57. Dewey into the paint. Lays it off for Williams. Williams couldn't handle the pass. It's loose on the floor. Comes up with it. And Abute. Butte lays it up and in. 6 point lead for the Bearcats 63-57. Hooten asking for a stop from his defense, trying to build on this lead. Trying to get it down into the paint to Schmidt. Now to Unruh. Up top for Jones into Schmidt. Jumper up, no good. Delaney with the rebound. Cats off and running with it. Delaney to Galbraith. Galbraith fouled. Foul called on Schmidt. Three on Schmidt, and Galbraith will be at the stripe shooting two. It's just one for four from the line today. Nine points, chance to get himself into double figures. First free throw on the way, back iron, no good. He's not been good at the stripe. Just one for five now. Second one on the way, that one doesn't go. So an 0 for 2 trip for Galbraith. Lead remains six for the Bearcats. And Camba was bumped on his way up. And is it on the floor or is it shooting? They're going to talk. No shot on the floor. Foul on Galbraith, so that'll be a one and one instead of a two shot foul for Camba. Albert Almanza will check in for Galbraith. First three throw by Camba is up and good, earns himself a second. 13 of 18 now as a team for Central Arkansas at the line. Second one on the way, that one is good as well. Both go, four point game. Bearcats lead at 63-59. Dewey with it on the drive. And an offensive foul called on John Dewey. Drop the shoulder. And that's three on Dewey. We're under six minutes left to play. Campbell with it for Central Arkansas. Finds Howard cutting and an easy layup for Jordan Howard. Cannot leave him open like that. Nobody picked him up on the back cut. Laid it up and in, 63-61. Back down to two-point game. Almanza with it to Dewey. Down low for Butte. Catch, turn, shot, good.
Back to a four point lead. Ute now has seven. Howard fired a three, no good. And it's gonna harmlessly go out of bounds. Exactly five minutes left in this one. Marcus Harris will check in, John Dewey out. Harris sparked the run that got the Bearcats back in it. Had a stretch where he knocked down four from long range. Almanza fires a three, back iron, no good. Quickly the other way, Unruh's layup is no good. He was fouled by Delaney. Two fouls on Delaney, nine on the Bearcats. Unruh will be at the line shooting two. He's one for three from the strike today. First free throw, gets the roll to go. Galbraith will check in. Butte out. One more free throw for Unruh. And that one is good as well. Gets them both. Sixty-five, sixty-three. Four and a half to play. Delaney from the screen from Galbraith. And the ball's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bearcats. Seven left to shoot. Cats lead by two, 65-63. Delaney will inbound to Williams, and Williams was fouled off the inbound. He'll go to the line. Foul called on Schmidt. That is four on him. So Jamal Williams at the stripe, shooting two. First free throw by Williams is up and in. One more to come for him. Second one on the way for Williams, in and out, no good. So one of two on the trip. Gets it back to a three point lead for the Bearcats. And an offensive foul called on Camba. So the Cats will get the ball back. That is four fouls on Camba. This half started with Central Arkansas scoring nine straight to take a 12 point lead. And the Cats completely turned it around as Delaney will lay it up and in. Quickly on the other end, Josh Delaney. Howard with a layup, left it short. Delaney with the rebound, Delaney Running the other way with it. He'll take it himself. The layup is good. Delaney fouled. And he'll go to the line for a three-point play. Josh Delaney back-to-back -back buckets. And the Cats have their biggest lead of the night, 70-63. to We'll step aside. It's the Sam Houston State basketball here on the Bearcat Sports Network.
3.50 to play. Josh Delaney at the line. Shooting one here. On the way and good. Delaney finishes off the three-point play. 71-63, eight-point lead for the Cats. A little 6-0 run going for them and a double dribble. No, a foul called. Oh. Marcus Harris called for the foul. Three on Harris. It'll be a two-shot foul for Jones. First free throw by Jones is up and in. Second one was in. Jones got them both to go. Seventy-one sixty-five, three thirty left to play. Still a lot left in this one. Delaney lost it, had it knocked out of his hand. Stays with it. Seven seconds left to shoot. Harris looks to drive, stumbles, gives it off to Williams who gets the jumper to go. And a stoppage. Once again, have to take a look at the shot clock. Unruh will inbound it. 73-65 lead for the Bearcats. Howard drives, kicks, and a block called underneath on Albert Almanza. So Howard will go to the line to shoot two. Jason Hooten asking for the charge, didn't get it. First free throw by Howard is up and in. One more free throw to go for Howard. Second one on the way and that one is good. Howard gets them both to go. Back to a six point game, 73-67. Williams to Harris. Harris oh, nearly walked with it. Central Arkansas has gone nearly three minutes without a field goal. Bearcats have hit three consecutive from the floor. Almanza to a cutting, Williams who throws it down. Howard kicks to Jones, who fires a three. In and out, no good. Williams with the rebound. Out to Galbraith, and Galbraith does the smart thing and slows it down. Up by eight, two minutes to play in a heady play there by Chris Galbraith. Now Delaney drives, floater no good, and the rebound comes down to the Bears. Howard drives, lays it up and in and a timeout will be called. Thirty second timeout by the Bears. 146 left to play. It is a 75-69 ball game. Officials over taking a look at something on the monitor. Confirming with the book right now it is 75-69, a question about the score. But it's a six point game.
And the Bearcats will inbound it along the baseline. Up six, 149 left to play. Long inbound pass to Jamal Williams. Williams gives it off to Dewey. At what point does Central Arkansas decide to foul? 20 left to shoot for the Bearcats. They can get the clock down to about 115. Harris with it, 10 left to shoot. Seven on the shot clock for Harris. He wants it himself. The drive, the floater, no good. Central Arkansas quickly looks to get to the basket. Kicks it around to Jones. Jones spins into the corner. Three ball is good in the corner. Mondesur knocks it down. It's a three-point game, 75-72. And Harris is fouled in the corner where he was trapped. And they're going to call the foul on Camba. That is five on him. So Camba's day is done. Camba finishes the game with 11 points. Five of six at the line. Marcus Harris at the stripe. Two big free throws here for Harris. First one no good. That has been what has killed the Cats tonight. Second free throw is good. Four point game. 76-72, under a minute left to play. They're trying to get the ball in the hands of Howard. Williams didn't allow it. Monsoor, shot, no good, battling around, loose on the floor, Bears come up with it. Cats have them trapped, long three ball, that one is no good, Harris there for the rebound. Harris will dribble it out to Delaney, Delaney to Williams, Williams, two-handed slam! And a whistle after the dunk. And they're going to take a look at this to see if he pulled himself up. No, they're looking at the clock. 31.8, so about a second added to it. But the dunk makes it a six-point game, 78-72. Jones. Hands it off, and a layup is up and in, and a timeout is called by the Bears. So while they step aside, we'll step aside with them. 23 seconds left. Cats leading by four. Twenty three point five seconds left. Bearcats lead by four and it'll be Bearcat basketball along the baseline. Jamal Williams will inbound. Shot clock is off. Inbound comes to Dewey and Dewey is fouled. So he will go to the line. A couple of big free throws here for Dewey. Cats have not been particularly good at the strike tonight. 15 of 27. Dewey is three for three.
Dewey on the season is an 84% free throw shooter. First one is good. One more to come for Dewey. Chance to get it back to six. There's 21 ticks left. Second free throw is good. 80 to 74. Jones, oh, he took an extra step and it wasn't called. Howard, fall away three, back iron no good. Offensive rebound, put back goes for Unruh. 10 seconds left. Galbraith catches the inbound and he is fouled. Jason Hooten wanting Galbraith to hand it off to a guy like Dewey. Central Arkansas loving the fact that they're sending Galbraith to the line, one for six tonight. Where Dewey, on the other hand, is five for five. First free throw by Galbraith is good. That gets him to double figures tonight. Galbraith now 10 points, 11 boards. Second free throw goes, he gets them both. Step back three is up, in and out, no good. Tip in, no good. And the Bearcats will hold court here at home. 82-76 as they had to rally in the second half to pull off this victory here and get their first South Lake Conference victory of the season. They improved to one and one in league play. Central Arkansas falls to seven and nine overall, one and two in Southland Conference play. Cats will be on the road on Saturday. They'll be back home here in a week and a half's time. So once again, final score here tonight, 82-76. Bearcats get the victory. Marcus Harris, a big stretch from outside. He hit four three-pointers, finished the night with 14 points. And the Cats will win this one by six. This has been Sam Houston State basketball here on the Bearcats Sports Network.